Okay, here we have a 94 Ovation Celebrity that I'm doing a neck reset on. There's a lot of um, different information online about how to do this. Um, first of all, the, there are unique problems with an Ovation neck reset because you're putting wood to plastic. The back and the sides, part of the neck pocket, are made out of plastic. This part's wood, yeah but this part's plastic and so is this part. Other than that, it's like a dovetail joint, right? Okay, so they put it in with epoxy. Um, so a lot of people think you can't get it out. But then I saw some people had been successful in getting it out, so I thought I'd try. And it wasn't hard, and I've seen other people say that it wasn't hard for them either. Um, all I did was typical things that an amateur might do. Put a, this on the fretboard extension to heat it up. Um, I put a cappuccino machine with a hose and a needle and a clamp. This is like a needle for filling up a ball, like a basketball or something. Um, I took my little propane torch and I kept heating up this utility knife so I could slip it underneath the fretboard extension and gradually melt the glue in there. And then I popped out pretty easily. Um, I was surprised considering it is epoxied in, but apparently they used a special epoxy or just not very good epoxy or something because other people have had success with this too. So once you got it out, what are you going to do? You're going to epoxy it back in? So some people say you should change it to a bolt-in neck. Um, a side note before I go on, um, this part right here, this wood, did come loose from the front board from me heating it up. So I just pulled it gently back, put some sandpaper in between there, cleaned it out, flipped it around, cleaned it out both ways, um, put some glue down in there, clamped it back together. It seems okay. Let me briefly just go ahead and show you how this thing fits in there. Uh, it's not going to right now because the bolts are in there, but you can see it's just a dovetail joint plus you got this block that fits in that rectangle, right? Okay, so putting the so putting the uh, Bolton neck conversion in. Um, I bought this kit from eBay. In, uh, just look for bolt-on neck insert kit. I think it was eight dollars, and you get four of these, four of these inserts. Note that one side has a slot on it for a screwdriver, which you may or may not need, but make sure that that's the outside when you put it in, just in case. And four of these. Okay, so what did I end up with? I have this situation going on here, and I've drilled holes through this part of the body inside the, the like the bottom of the neck pocket so that these bolts can go in there okay how do I get these um, you have to the directions say to use a quarter inch drill bit and make it half an inch deep so I've measured to half an inch and I taped it off and I drilled down in there you want to try to get it straight as you can I was worried I wasn't going to be able to get it but I think I got it um, then these screw in. They they may tear up some wood. That that's quarter inch seems to be a little bit too small, maybe. But you know, I'm just following the instructions. It may tear up some of the wood there. Just keep on going. Um, make sure that you don't get them too deep, though. Um, maybe I should have lined up the drill bit with this insert, and see that would have been slightly less deep because some of these are, are deeper than others and that's kind of the problem that I was dealing with because the thing is once you got it in there you, you, your bolt is this long that's too long I counted the threads across here there are 16 threads on this bolt so you know it may be or vary if you don't have exactly the same bolt but this is what I did to measure it 16 threads across here plus however many threads it took to screw it in four turns like if I put a piece of tape here and pull it out and count the threads, that tells me how many threads I have to have 
to screw it in four because it's going to be more be because the thing sunk in there, right? So I measured them all like that. I individually cut them all so that I think it's going to work. And I don't know what this little piece of foam here that Ovation put in there is, but it kind of gives me a good indication because I can see where that foam has been flattened. And that shows me that where I'm lining up these bolts should work. Okay, the reason I took this thing off in the first place, this guitar is a Katrina Survivor. Um, it had a broken bridge after it got floated in Biloxi. And the guy gave it to me. He kept it for years, didn't do anything with it. And then he gave it to me. Um, the bridge was broken, so I replaced that. I, I put strings on it and... I noticed that the action was terrible and the heel was starting to separate from the body. So I'm hoping that now I can put this back on, bolt it in good, and hopefully that's all I'm going to have to do. I, I don't want to have to reset the neck beyond that. Um, what they typically do with, the, with an all wood dovetail joint. Um, reset is there's a complicated formula you got to measure a bunch of stuff and then you find out how much of of this to take off right here so you want to line straight from this corner to where this one's going to be down a bit and that brings the net angle back i don't think it really needs to be a change i think it was just a bit loose and so i'm going to put this in tighten it up put strings on it and wish me luck. I'll show you what I get. Well, I've got two of the bolts in and I just remembered some stuff so I thought I'd mention. Um, first of all, when you have these little inserts that you're putting in there, um, this is how you do it. You have a little bolt and a little Allen wrench that comes with it and you simply screw that little bolt. I can't do it and hold the camera at the same time, but you screw that little bolt in there and then you screw the Allen wrench in, right? Um, this gives you a tool to stick it in and once again try to get it as straight as you possibly can um, one little problem I found is that once you get this bolt down in the insert sometimes it'll pop right out when you go to turn counterclockwise sometimes it doesn't and then the insert comes with it right okay so in that case what you need to do is use the side with the screwdriver slot see that's why you gotta make sure your screwdriver slot is he on, on the outside? Well, the threads too. <laughs> so, um, all right. Um, this bolt didn't quite. It was it was too long. So I've measured about how much of it it was still sticking out, and I'm going to take this. Always wear precautions and a grinder and chop it off, and then I'll take it over to my little bitty bench grinder and smooth off the end a bit so the threads will go smoothly into their hole and let you know what happened. Okay, I hope the camera is picking up those bolts inside, at least one of them. There's two more, you saw how it goes in there, but it's on and it looks like it's a success. Um, It does have two dead frets on the E string and the B string uh, from like the 13th and 14th. I'm pretty sure that that's because the fingerboard extension isn't quite flat right here at this point. Um, so I may end up having to take a couple frets out, sand the board level down again, and put them back in. Also, uh, the action is low. Um, the saddle needs to be replaced and the pickup inside the saddle needs to be replaced. That's the original one that I took out of the original bridge. So once I change that and adjust that correctly, maybe do a little adjusting on the truss rod. I may not even have to do this here, but anyway, it still needs a little work, but it survived the big surgery and it seems like this method was successful. So I know that there's a lot of these out there and they're getting older and some of them are going to need this kind of work. So I hope this helps somebody.